the traditional uh, way of buying things. So I'm gonna buy this box and I've gotta think about, okay, I've got this much money to spend on it and I have this much capacity that I'm gonna need over the next two years, so I'm gonna find some more money and I'm gonna buy the capacity I think I need for the next two years right now. That means I'm gonna be buying a lot of capacity that I don't use. A pay-as-you-go model is strictly that. It's, it's you ask for infrastructure, your provider would give you that infrastructure platform in your premise or as publicly accessible through a private network or a public network, whichever one you choose. But you will only pay for the amount and the time that you use that amount. It's a financial and operational model to help customers get to where they need to be sooner. There's no cap, there's no term like a lease, right? So you go into it and you say, I want 10 compute resources and I want 100 terabytes of data for those 10 compute resources. I go and use them for two months and I can give them back. I will get a bill on a monthly basis for the consumption that I did for that 100 terabytes and those 10 compute platforms for those two months. That's all I need to pay for. The panacea is uh, being able to have a cockpit, we refer to it as a portal, and being able to consume on demand at an instant's notice. We're working on the second generation of our portal and uh, we're working to deliver a, uh, a completely automated workflow. So it provides our customers with billing information, consumption information, with funding information, so they can see at any time how much have they bought, how much is on their floor, how much are they consuming where, even public cloud consumption.